Hi, how's it going everybody? It's the Freshwater Freak here and it is officially ice season again. I know we haven't really had much of a winter up here in the Midwest, especially in Wisconsin where I'm located, but uh, we found some decent ice, about six and a half to, uh, to up to ten inches in some spots, but it's real soft. I'm out here with a buddy right now on... One of the lakes that we used to fish, we've only ice fished this one other time, and I think that was a year or two prior, didn't really catch much, this was kind of just a spur of the moment thing. But we wanted to get on some decent sized crappies, and then possibly a walleye night bite. And this is basically just a practice run for our bigger trip that we have coming up in two-ish weeks something like that and that one's across the state <clears throat> basically what we got running here is I don't have any rods in the water and we kind of just got this thing set up not too long ago like two three hours ago I got my cot set up with my stuff and I instantly fell asleep on this and my Buddy's stuff is all outside because he wanted to jig inside, but he's been running after tip-ups and talking to people. I've got the Garmin set up. I'm actually sitting on a tree right now, and we did drop an underwater camera down there, and we've seen that there was a bunch of small crappie down there. So there's hope for, hopefully, some panfish action. Heaters set up. We got kind of some mix match puzzle piece action going on so the ice doesn't melt below us. And I mean, you can see it, the ice is fairly clear. Not, not the greatest, but we got a solid... I mean, if you try looking down that hole, probably doesn't look like much on camera, but there's probably about seven inches of ice right here so it's it's not too bad all right guys it's it's been a little while um we actually ended up getting on a couple of fish except it was one of those things where you had to be on them right away so i couldn't pull the gopro out or anything and i was also 200 yards away from the shack this is when i found them a couple of crappies really no big deal but we're gonna hit them pretty hard in the morning otherwise right now sitting in the shack nice and warm got the heater going i got the rattle reels i got one there buddy's got one over there we had a guy uh it was kind of just hanging out by us for most of the afternoon, he ended up catching a walleye right before he left. So we know there's, there's walleye in here. So hopefully we can have one of these rattle reels go down. And then we also have tip-ups outside. We're just going to be finishing up the rest of the dinner here. Got some water boiling for some hot cocoa. And then I think we're just going to be chilling in the shack for the rest of the night. And then hopefully, if we get a fish on either the tip down or the rattle reel, I will do my best to record it. So, I'm going to keep on grinding. Well, good morning, everybody. <sighs> Day two here in the shelter, and there hasn't been anything going on as of last night. Um, it got pretty cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, cold for right now. It's been in the 30s and in the mid-20s for the past two weeks as the lows. And I'm pretty sure it got down to about 20. And we're camping on glare ice. There's no snow because everything melted weeks prior and then refroze. 
So we're camping on glare ice, so there is just a giant draft underneath this kite of a <laughs> ice shack. Yep. So and it was blowing wind last night too. And we also had the heater on like medium, not high. So we were freezing to death at the same time. But now we're up, it's 7, 7.10, something like that. We're going to hopefully go slam some crappies since we found them last night. So, Yee! <laughs> Stay tuned and I'll see you on the GoPro footage. All right. Walking to the spot right now. Buddy's going to beat me there. But, uh, yeah. Decent morning. And just like yesterday, we we're the only people on this lake. <laughs> we ended up getting some intel from a guy that came out uh, yesterday evening that this is a morning and evening lake. Which I believed him. But there was also nobody out here in the morning, so we're gonna see if they're actually biting this morning or not. Well, they open up. Got open holes. Two of them right here, yeah. All right, cool. And then, yeah, that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole. All these were drilled last night. Fish on bottom. Fish on bottom. Already. All right. I'm gonna get to jigging. Uh, made a last-second executive decision that we are moving the entire hub and base camp over here. And buddy's running. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're moving the shack over there because it's, it's not really the temperature outside, it's the wind that's killing us. Because, I mean,. I, I think it's supposed to be like 24, 22 right now. It feels like 10. Like it's it's bad. So we're moving all the stuff over there where we were. And then I think we're just gonna sit there and chill for most of the day until the afternoon. And then Buddy wants to do some exploring. See if we can get on either some bigger fish or potentially some walleyes. But all right, I'll see you guys when we got everything together. Alrighty, we got everything squared away now, and we're getting ready to cook up some breakfast. I've got. I've got the deucer in my hole, but I'm not really doing anything. Heater's going. Pads are down. It's fixing to be pretty sick in here. But for right now, I gotta focus on getting this breakfast done. Bro, I am so mad at myself right now. So we've been we've been sitting in the shack. It's been a good two three hours since the last time we recorded something, and you know we're sitting here chilling. I'm in my sweatpants and my slippers and having a good time watching stuff on my phone and look out the window, and there's a flag up. <laughs> my instant reaction 
was to go get the flag. <laughs> and not the camera, then the flag. <laughs> and this is what I ended up getting. Looks a lot smaller than the camera. It's 17 and 3 quarters, so he's... Eh. Not a, not a jumbo, not a huge, huge bass by any means. But, I mean, he's all of three pounds. Great winter bass. And, yes, uh, I do eat these. And there is a bunch of them in this lake in particular. So, we are going to take this one and hopefully maybe a couple more out of there but just a great fish to have and i didn't get to record it and i'm mad <laughs> but next time we get a flag if we get a flag that might have been the only one of the day which is also why i'm mad about it but anyway uh, I gotta go drill more holes because we're gonna be moving tip ups now uh, into the bay uh, closer to where that flag went off for that fish. So I'll catch y'all later. All right. There's more, but they're by that dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the beginning of the evening update it is like 3 30 right now Yeet! me and my buddy cole are gonna go to another basin that uh apparently people were catching quite a few fish on and it's been dead here all day besides catching that one bass off that tip up and then whatever was like right away in the morning that i may have recorded i'm not 100 percent sure but we're going to go over there and see if we can crush some panfish for the evening bite. And then we're going to come back here and pretty much just chill out for the evening. Because what I'm hoping is, is that there might be some walleye action coming up here. Because it is deeper than it was in our original spot. And we were getting marks later in the evening that seem bigger. They just weren't really interested in any finesse jigs which was making me think that they're probably walleyes so i'm gonna go over there i'm gonna have the gopro on and see if we can't hook into a couple oh oh coming back coming back coming back Oh, I missed him. Let me do it again. Oh, I'm going to do it again. There we go. <laughs> Little guy. Ooh, hold on there, buddy. Little guy. Good bluegill. Down the hole. I was gonna say, don't, don't quite leave. They're roaming fish. Like you're never gonna be able to hole hop them. Something else hanging around down there.
There's definitely something down there. I'm probably going to end up fishing this hole another, eh, we'll give it about five minutes or so. And then I'm going to run back and grab the auger. That way we can pop a couple more holes in this area. It kind of seems like they're everywhere. It's just I want to have a little more access. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's there's one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. But will he eat? <laughs> yep, he ate. <laughs> ooh. Eh, okay sized. Definitely not a keeper. There we go. There we are. Uh, yeah. Another okay sized one. Good looking fish. There's a good one. Now that's, that's a good gill. Oh, Mother Teresa. <laughs> Oh, here we go. There we go. Jeez. Ooh, bluegill. Bluegill. Eh. Not really. Good fish. I made it back. All right. Buddy's been doing some work over here. We even got our first crappie of the evening. A smaller. Smaller, probably a seven and a half incher. But I mean. Don't cook them up some. <laughs> as long as they're here. Get back to this hole and then jig for a little bit and we're probably gonna move. Oh look, there's a fish down there waiting for me. There, there was. How's it going guys? It's a nighttime update right now. It's um trying to see here. A little quarter after seven. Um did pretty good on the evening. Um I'm pretty sure I got those clips of us smacking some panfish real quick for the late evening bite. Right now we're on a walleye mission. So we are both a jigging and we've got two tip-ups out a piece hoping to get something that's either cruising in the shallows or out deeper in about 20 foot of water so hopefully we can make something happen we have been marking a few fish very far and few between we don't really know if they're walleye or not 
there's a chance it could be just the off crappie or like a perch swimming through or something but they're going up and they're checking out um my buddy's bait so we're thinking they're probably either crappie or walleye hopefully walleye um if we don't catch anything tonight we're gonna do another morning session i'm gonna recharge up the gopro batteries and then you'll see morning there's some morning action and then we're either going to head out after that and maybe try to go do another lake for walleye or we're just going to send it across the lake to a spot that supposedly people have been catching quite a few walleye at. So. Oh. Good morning. It is a little after quarter after six in the morning. We actually got some good sleep last night. We got the, the big heater out this time, but um, yeah, we're gonna clean a couple of things up, pack up a little bit, and then uh, he's probably here in I don't know a half hour or so. We're gonna go outside the shack and go to the spot where we were uh, catching all those bluegills. And uh, crappies and stuff, and hopefully get more uh, more fish on camera for you guys. But in the meantime, stay tuned. More fish to be caught. Oh, we got one. Yeah, hold on, hold on, guys. I gotta put you on. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Careful. Yeah, take it slow. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Coming up. Oh, perfect. Probably gonna be a little bass. Ooh. Running with him, huh? A decent one. Decent bass keeper. Grab that fucker. Yeah, yeah. baby! <laughs> Let's go. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Another fucking three pounder. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Oh, and just fuck. like that. And now we have two. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, that is a nice fish. That is a That's great him. fish, dude. Wow. Mm. Fat head. Yeah? Big fat head. So that one's got a shiner, that one's got a shiner. We'll keep this one a fat head. Yeah. The one that you caught over there is on a big shiner. Yeah, so we'll just keep running what we're running with. Hell wow. yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm like, man, it'd be nice if the tip up went. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Oh. Well, as you guys seen from that, that was a real nice bass that we just caught on the tip up. And uh, yeah, biggest fish of the day so far, second biggest fish of the trip. About a good 16 and a half incher, so it's a keeper. They got to be 14 and over for us to keep them here in Wisconsin. So. A damn good fish, about two pounder. I'll get another good look at it here for all you folks at home. Ugh. Not a bad fish. Real nice. Here. Better in the light. There you go. Real nice fish. And that one's coming home with us. I'm gonna turn that into a, a bass roll. Man, those things are good eating in the winter. Oh, they're fun to catch all year round, but winter, oh, that's when they are the best eating fish. Yeah, we're gonna get back to it. 
I've actually got the GoPro strapped on my head. I didn't really get any footage of this morning because they were just biting so slow that it'd just be me constantly trying to keep up with what could be biting fish and GoPro footage. And that'd be a lot to edit out and it would just take up space and I didn't want to kill GoPro batteries. So yeah, we're going to get back to it. Hopefully there's like a midday bite. It's about 11 o'clock now and say about eh, 12, 12.30, give or take. I think we're going to end up packing her up. But if we keep getting decent sized fish, then we're going to stay here for another evening. And then I can get some more fish catching content for everybody at home. So stick with us, guys. Let's go. Another good size kill. Good looking fish. That's an eater. Alrighty guys, we are at the landing. We are done. We've got everything packed in the car. It was a very fun three days to be out here. We ended up catch how many fish did we end up catching? 30 five? 35 or 36 fish in the sled. So about three dozen fish we caught in about three days. So that's not bad. It's gonna get split between the both of us. Two bass. Really nice bass. Yeah. Bunch of crappies, bunch of bluegills, and some fun times. And then we also met um, a couple of buddies who were also out here doing YouTube. I'll have to add them in the bio later after I give them a call. But that'll be the end of this video, guys. I'll be seeing you later. Uh, please share, like, subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell. I will be posting a lot more this ice season now. And for now, that'll be it. I'll see you guys next time.